So this is going to be a very fast video showing you how to bring back the legacy behavior for scaling proportionally in Adobe Photoshop. So previously in Photoshop, and to demonstrate this, I'll hit Control T on my keyboard or Command T on a Mac to bring up the transform tool. When you wanted to scale proportionally, you had to hold Shift. But now by default in Photoshop, it does this, which means if you hold Shift, it actually disables that behavior. And if you were really used to the old way of doing things, this is super disruptive and really annoying to deal with. Luckily, Photoshop recently added something in to bring back the old behavior. So you have to hold shift to scale proportionally as opposed to it automatically doing so. And to bring back that old behavior, just go to edit. And from edit, you want to go to preferences. And then in the preferences window, you want to click general. So once the general preferences window opens up here, you want to go to use legacy free transform. And by the way, if you're using Photoshop on a Mac, it's possible this might be under the Photoshop menu in the top bar. I don't have Photoshop on a Mac to directly compare that, but that would be my guess. But once you do that, just hit OK. And now if I hit Control T once again to scale this, and I don't hold shift, it will no longer scale proportionally. And if I do hold shift, it brings back that old behavior. So a really easy fix to a rather annoying problem, especially if you are a longtime user of Photoshop like me. I don't know why Adobe decided that was a good idea to change all of a sudden, but they did, so here we are. But that's it for this video. If this was helpful, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. I do my best to keep creating new content just like this. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, want to post spam, do so in the comment section. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.